Assalamu alaikum I hope everyone is doing well so today the topic that I am going to discuss with you guys is about heart morphogenesis which is one of the embryology topic so let's start with this topic so we have cardiac looping um, first one is a cardiac looping then we have a uh, separation of the chambers then outflow tract formation and then the valve development so um, today the topic that I'm concerned about or I'm I'm going to discuss with you guys is cardiac looping so let's start with what basically is cardiac looping so as you guys can see over here in this diagram um, I'll zoom it okay so um, as you guys can see so this a diagram this b diagram and then the c diagram so the a so it has two ends the cranial end and the caudal end so uh, this one is the aortic roots this one is the truncus arteriosus this black one is here in this diagram it is not marked so i am going to mark it truncus arteriosus okay and then this green part is the bulbous cordis then the blue one is the ventricle then atrium and sinus venosus and these ends are the cardinal veins these are the uh, cardinal veins all right so um so this is just you have to memorize this stuff uh, but it's really easy once you memorize the names and it is really easy to um, uh, make a concept regarding this so now uh, why it is known as cardiac looping because this structure is is looping in the b diagram like this like a snake s shaped structure and then it is um, going more towards you know the cranial end from the caudal end to the cranial as you guys can see over here in the c diagram it is going from the cr uh, caudal end to the cranial end um so this is really um, um interesting and so as you guys can see over here in the b that there is pericardium there is pericardial cavity then um, um, uh, in the C diagram, there is bulboventricular sulcus, which is the uh, sulcus between the uh, the uh, bulbous cordis and the uh, ventricle. So it is known as bulboventricular sulcus. <clears throat> so now all of these structures uh, that I have just mentioned are going to form some um, uh, adult heart structures. So which structures is going to be formed with uh, which embryological uh, structures? So let's discuss those structures now so as you guys can see over here i have uh, shown some diagrams so uh, let's start with it now it's really really easy to memorize this so just see that i have marked some part with the green um, purple and some with the pink and yellow so at first i'm going to start with the green part um, because you guys can see that there is primitive atrium, there is primitive pulmonary vein and right horn of sinus venosus as I've already shown you in the diagram. So the primitive atrium is here in this diagram is this one. This is the atrium part. Okay, this one is the atrium part. So the primitive atrium is going to form the trabeculated, the primitive word, this um whenever there is a word with the atrium or ventricle and the word is a primitive which means it is going to be just you know just to memorize it that it is going to be trabeculated um, but in in case of pulmonary vein as it is always you know when there is double p this p and this p the fifth point the primitive pulmonary vein is going to form the smooth part of left atrium because one one structure has to form the smooth part and some structures has to form the trabeculated part so the primitive pulmonary vein is going to form the smooth part of left atrium the left one and the right horn of the sinus venosus is going to form the smooth part of right atrium which is also known as sinus venarum so see uh, the left atrium uh, the right atrium the smooth part has been formed then primitive atrium is forming the trabeculated part similarly now uh, let's go to the point number three the primitive ventricle and the bulbous cordis as you guys can see over here in this diagram the green and blue are um, the bulbous cordis is uh, above the ventricles so 
so just you know memorize it that bulbous cordis is going to form the smooth one and the ventricles is going to be form the uh, trabeculated part so bulbous cord is uh, form is forming the smooth part of right and left ventricle and primitive ventricle is forming the trabeculated part of right and left ventricle so it's really easy so almost you have memorized uh, six points so now see the number one point the truncus arteriosus as there is a in this so just memorize it that it is going to be ascending aorta and uh, with the ascending aorta there are the pulmonary trunk so you know just make it in your mind that truncus arteriosus is going to be forming the ascending aorta and pulmonary trunk so now the seventh point <clears throat> so the seventh point the left horn of sinus venosus it is the odd one out all right so that is why i have um, colored it in yellow because left horn of sinus venosus is going to from the coronary sinus and it is a really important mcq um, that which which part of the uh, which uh, sinus uh, which horn is going to form the coronary sinus and it is going to be left horn of sinus venosus um okay and then the endocardial cushion so let me mention that what basically is endocardial cushion so um in this diagram here in this diagram as you guys can see that there is left endocardial cushion there is right endocardial cushion so these are going to form the septums when it is going to grow these three structures these are like the septum part so when 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 these are going to grow they are going to form different septums uh, so it is um, that is why uh, these are the cushions so it is going to be forming the atrial septum the membranous part of interventricular septum the aortic valve and semilunar valves the right common cardinal vein the uh, this one these are the cardinal veins um, here here I'm going to the end parts all right the almost the end parts like for here in this diagram so um, the right common cardinal vein and the right anterior cardinal vein is going to form the superior. The right is always superior. So just memorize it that right is always superior and right common cardinal vein and the right anterior cardinal vein is going to be forming the superior vena cava. And the last one, the posterior, the subcardinal and the supracardinal. Sorry for the spelling mistake. So the supracardinal vein is going to be forming the inferior vena cava. So the posterior one, you know, is going to be the inferior one. So inferior vena cava, the right, superior vena cava. So, so it's it's really easy to memorize it if you you know just uh, make some concepts. So or mnemonics. So yes, it is going to be easy for you guys. So okay. So I hope you guys understand this topic. So if you guys really did, I would really appreciate that if you if you could uh, subscribe my channel. So thank you very much and. Jazakallah khair, Allah Hafiz.